hello guys welcome once again in the last video I have shown you how to attach your image by clicking this button and how to convert that image into the binary stream and you have to make sure that the file you are attaching should be a PNG file because Navit beans support PNG file mostly so this is one maybe the restriction for net beans I don't know there is a solution for it or not if you know some solution then tell me I will also like to know that so last video I have shown you how to make convert your image into binary stream and now I will show you how to save when you click this save button your data here will be saved and whatever you will select the image here it's also saved so let's get started go to your save button right click it by the way this code I've made earlier and this save code the save code I have shown you in the video number 14 so if you don't know how to save data just go and watch my video number 14 and I will continue the code after that for my save button so I will right click it go to event action and action performed and this code I have written in my video number 14 okay so now I will go to my database and let's see what is my image column name so my image column name as I have declared earlier is image so I have want to add uh, image in my image column for my response respective employee ID for example so previously I was able to add or save new employee ID his name surname and age and now I would like to add an image to this data so I will write after this insert into employee info this is the table name and this is the column employee ID name surname and image and after that you should write column name image and here we will add one more question marks so it will look for the image also so we will add these five information of the employee and in here we have written up to four column names so we are able to take the values from these respective test text field like one this this and this and one combo box also from here we have written this code earlier and after that you have to write after these four lines we have to insert our image now which is our fifth variable or fifth column here one two three four five okay so I will write it here PST dot set set this is my byte so I have to write dot set byte this one because we have already converted our image into byte so we have to write this pst dot set byte and in here 
this is our fifth column so we'll write five one two three four and fifth and in here you have to write your person image variable name we have declared at the bottom in the last video here person image so we are through this button attach image we are converting our image into bytes and saving it in this variable person image and when you go in the save button action performed it will insert this variable which is in here and save your data into your database so it's showing some error let's see what is the error so it's saying prepared statement method cannot be for performed here let's see why okay so I have done some spelling mistakes as I always do here after pst dot set this is not byte this is a stream of bytes so these are set bytes so write pst dot set b y t e s don't forget s because it's the stream of bytes so your error will go now so what we have done basically we added one more column in here and one more question mark after values and we are at the fifth place or in the fifth column we are inserting our person image variable which contains our image binary stream so you just have to write one line and add this column and one question mark in order to save the image and let's try to run our program now and let's see can we able to attach a new image in our database and can be able to see or not so I have till now 11 employee I will add 12th 12 his name is Andy whatever Mark. and his age is 24 for example and I want to save his image also so I will click this attach button and I will search for my image and for example I want to save his image like this this one and when I press save button my employee data and his image should be saved in my database this is employee number 12 so I will click my save button you can see it's saved our image and employee data is saved and when we click OK you can see the 12th employee and this is the binary form of your image so you can see in your table also and when you click this row employee number 12 you can see the image you can add the image of the person I don't have it right now so I image some icon here so you can add any image one thing to note here is you cannot add a big image of a big image file so it has some size restrictions also so your image should be not more than I think thousand kilobyte is the limit I have to check so this was the tutorial on how to save your image by using your save button 
I hope you have learned something new and you will implement in your project. So please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.